We have the tools to reverse skin wrinkles and the signs of skin aging today. This is not for vanity reasons. How our skin looks reflects our chances of living a long life. And if we see a young person in the mirror, we're far more likely to identify as a young person and practice those healthy life habits. So in addition to diet, exercise and sleep, the most important strategy is sunscreen and the only pushback that I've seen against sunscreen is safety which we'll cover shortly. In a 2013 randomized trial involving over 900 adults, the group who used daily sunscreen had no detectable increases in skin aging after four and a half years. They essentially stopped their skin from aging just by using sunscreen, and a follow-up 2016 paper showed the reversal of skin aging parameters. But there are safety concerns about sunscreen. So broadly speaking, we've got mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. And some chemical sunscreen ingredients are absorbed into the bloodstream. But it's important to note that as of 2023, there are no known harms in humans from these ingredients being absorbed. And the American Academy of Dermatology unambiguously states that sunscreen is safe to use. Nevertheless, some people may elect to use mineral sunscreens because they are not absorbed. But the downside is that they often don't protect against the sun's UV radiation as well as chemical sunscreens. And they can be difficult to apply. Now one mineral sunscreen I've found to be quite good is from Alta MD. But still, it's not as good as a chemical-based sunscreen, particularly because we have a chemical ingredient called bimetrezinol, which does protect against the different UV wavelengths, but its best quality is its large size, meaning that it doesn't get absorbed into the bloodstream. And some brands that use bimetrezinol include La roche posay and Nivea. Unfortunately though, there is a problem. Even though we've known about bimetrezinol since the 1990s, it's still not FDA approved. So bimetrezinol is widely used in Europe and Australasia, but it's not available in the USA and it's hoped that we would get approval for this in mid-2024. Overall, sunscreen is crucial for youthful looking skin and the current guidelines suggest that chemical sunscreens are safe. Personally, I also supplement with a thousand units of vitamin D found in the multivitamin and mineral I take called microvitamin. What we've dealt with is photoaging. Now we need to have a look at so-called normal aging, where our collagen decreases by about 75%. The great news is that we can rebuild our collagen ropes by supplementing with hydrolyzed collagen, as evidenced by a 2020 review that included 10 separate randomized clinical trials. All of the included studies included beneficial effects on skin health parameters, including moisture, elasticity, and wrinkle number. Plus, there was a further 2022 randomized clinical trial, again showing skin health improvements with collagen peptides. It reduced the wrinkles around the eyes by 8%. Collagen peptides are short chains of amino acids, and amino acids make up protein. So one interesting question is whether collagen peptides offer any further benefits beyond simply supplementing with protein. To explore this, a 2020 study of burn patients was done, where one group were supplemented with protein and the other group supplemented with collagen peptides. What they found is that the wound healing rate was significantly higher with the collagen peptides compared to protein. I use 10 to 15 grams of collagen peptides every day. Now we want to step on the gas of the skin rebuilding process, which is where retinol creams come in. They stimulate the skin cells to produce collagen fibers and improve the skin blood supply. We can see from a 2007 randomized clinical trial where the group who used the retinol lotion had significant decreases in their wrinkle scores. And many subsequent trials have confirmed the same thing. When you start using retinol creams, it does make your skin more sensitive, so I strongly advise to use these creams at night and to always wear sunscreen during the day. There are different versions of retinol creams, and broadly speaking, we've got adapalene and tretinoin. In a large 2018 trial, both creams offered similar improvements in the signs of skin aging, but adapalene has the advantage that it's less irritating to the skin. Personally, I use tretinoin because that's the one available at the strength I want in New Zealand. Now that we've improved the blood supply to our skin, the next component we want to rebuild is hyaluronic acid, which also decreases as we age. But just like collagen, we can rebuild hyaluronic acid using supplements, as evidenced by multiple randomized clinical trials including this one in 2021, showing an 18% improvement in wrinkle depth. Importantly, that study was not sponsored by a supplement company. Now the only pushback I've seen against hyaluronic acid supplements is a concern about cancer. But when hyaluronic acid was given to mice that already had cancer, there were no changes in cancer growth. 
I take 200 milligrams of hyaluronic acid, which is also found in microvitamin. Next is vitamin B3. The clinical guidelines suggest that it can improve skin barrier function by decreasing water loss through the outer layer of the skin. Vitamin B3 is also reported to improve complexion by improving pigmentation, blotchiness and redness of aging skin. There are a few other tools to reverse the signs of skin aging, including laser treatment, photodynamic therapy and Botox. So not filler, but Botox. You can see that there are plenty of tools available to us today, in addition to diet, exercise and sleep, to help you look significantly younger than your age. Make sure to check out this next video here on the latest research regarding the best diet, and if you want early access to these videos, check out the pinned comment where you can find a link to my Patreon.